Hi, my name is Gail Aiken. It's my pleasure to introduce to you a short DVD which has been commentated by David Fisher, who's working with um, our youngsters that have some talent here at Empower Dome. You'll find that David has actually been able to work with these players because of their involvement in our Empower Minis program. I just want to bring to your attention that we are very, very aware that fewer and fewer five-year-olds are actually participating. The reality is that many of them are very embarrassed or just physically not able to engage in learning the skills of a particular sport because they're lacking in basic fundamental movement and perceptual motor skills. And consequently, over a decade, we at Empower Dome have been involved in researching a program called Empower Minis, which actually provides itself as a precursor to any national sporting program. We trust that as David just talks you through what these two young players are actually doing, that you'll see the benefits also of modified formats when youngsters are learning the skills of games. But I want to say to you first and foremost that what we do appreciate is the absolute importance of giving everyone the opportunity for a pathway that allows for true athlete development. Thank you. The game Ashley and Zoe are playing is called mini tennis. They are using a foam ball, which is the Empower Dome starter ball, uh, often referred to as the red ball, and the court often re referred to as the red court. This foam ball is the slowest of the modified balls that are used in mini tennis. One of the most difficult challenges faced by all tennis players is to be in position at the right time to hit the ball. The small court, the slow ball, allows these players to do this with a high degree of success. When we filmed this clip, Zoe, in the purple top, was only two weeks into changing her backhand from a double-handed backhand to a single-handed backhand. As a result, we will see Zoe make a number of indecisive backhand errors. At this stage of development for these young players, it's all about building consistency. Zoe and Ashley are demonstrating good consistency with height over the net and hitting to safe targets, keeping the ball well away from the sidelines. Here, Ashley hits an excellent attacking shot deep into the forehand corner. Zoe returns the ball cross court so that she's in a better position for the next ball, despite making the error. As a result of Zoe's good serve, Ashley is on the defence from Zoe's persistent yet safe attack cross court. These next couple of points demonstrate one of Ashley's strengths. Ashley moves the player around well corner to corner and then uses safe targets to try and hit the winner or force the error. As you watch the remainder of these points, it is easy to see how the game of mini tennis fits the size of these young players, enabling them to learn all the integrated skills of tennis. Tactical, technical understanding progresses in a stepped approach. Bigger courts, faster balls. Players have more fun and learn faster when they play the game that fits them. I remember when Ashley and Zoe first came to us. And I'm delighted to say that the laughter that they uh, brought to us when they first came remains with them and has been over these past years that uh, they've been enjoying various activities with us at Empower Dome. I say again that what we understand is that a youngster needs many and varied experiences if they're truly going to be the true athlete. And what we found through the delivery of Empower Minis is three very important things which have been academically validated. That is that this program for any child who participates in the full 12 months 
will have acquired all of the necessary fundamental movement and perceptual motor skills that enable them to participate in any physical activity and then go on to learn the skills of any sport. And secondarily, that the program can accelerate athlete development. And thirdly, it will contribute 30 minutes to a total of 60 minutes a day that a youngster of the age of three and four should actually be participating in. If you're interested in your child participating in this program, I'm currently interacting with many people around the country for an eventual rollout of various franchises. We'd love to hear from you, so please give us a call on 6298 or visit our website. Thank you.